Isaiah chapter 11 is start from verse 2 in that chapter 2 verse 2 we see all the manifestations of that spirit it's and the spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him that's one please subscribe to the Demi fruitful channel that's the first spirit of God first expression of the spirit of God the resting of the spirit upon you and the spirit rest upon you for manifestation for the endless expectation Romans 8 29 for of the creature is for the manifestations of the sons of God the Bible says it claim Acts chapter 5 verse 15 Acts chapter 5 verse 15 the Bible says and the shadow of Peter that's the spirit resting upon you that you manifest how can the spirit rest upon an individual and you're having problem with eating in the dream who will cook the food and you're struggling to pray somebody was talking to me 1 a.m i said ah papa you have not slept i said i just woke up he said I woke up partially i said i've woken up i've woken up i said i'm not like you people that spend time from 10 to 12 you are chatting on the phone I live here I climb my bed I sleep one I'm up am I talking to somebody here yeah? now one imbecile wasting my time in the name of chatting I said I'm up to to just read the problems that we have we cause them Jesus Luke chapter 5 verse 17 on a certain day he was preaching and the power of the Lord was present to heal that anointing that judges cancer judges disease judges infirmity that anointing that judges tumor judges fibril Isaiah 26 verse 9 when thy judgment are in all the earth the inhabitants will learn righteousness when thy judgment Galatians 5 verse 10 I have confidence in you through the Lord that you will be none otherwise minded but he that troubles you shall bear the judgment whosoever he be judgment against disease so that the spirit rest upon you for manifestation Acts 19 11 the Bible says that aprons and handkerchiefs were taken from the body of Saul and evil spirits evil spirits knew the body the handkerchiefs came from evil spirits knew come on evil spirits knew and today we have people running from place to place moving from 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 fellowship to fellowship not knowing that God wants to use you the kingdom of God is looking for vessels you are a mushroom because you lack much room you are useless because you use less what you carry you are useless because you use less what you carry am i communicating here and the spirit shall rest upon him one lady came to our church and said they stole her money they stole her money in the polytechnic they stole her money she's a lecturer said they stole her money in the office students and they stole her money and she was panicking on the Sunday I said give me your hand don't ask the person will bring the money complete he says I said I'm telling you tomorrow tomorrow the person will bring the money complete and she, she said, Amen, Papa, Amen, Papa. The one that's paying me actually, the one that's paying me, is my ATM. The cash in that is about 120. But my ATM, my ATM. My, I said, We bring everything to you. She said, Okay, sir. Hey, Jesus. Hey, Jesus. Hey. And she left. Monday afternoon, she almost killed my phone. Called me back to back. I said, well, Papa, the thief is here. The thief is here. The thief is here. A student C120 C handset an iPhone C ATM and return it is the spirit resting on the man I wish I was talking to somebody here to be in the generation of the manifestations of the power of God when strange things will happen some testimonies we can't even share them because if we share some testimonies here some of you will be quiet for like five minutes you see 
Oh boy. Yeah, I'm. Hey, me could just shake Hey, man, pastor. He said that to Samuel, I will do a work in your day that the ears of them that hear shall tingle. Rest upon me, Spirit of God. You walk into places. I have entered aircrafts and people are coming down. Not once, not twice. I just entered and people are coming down. The former governor of this state and I entered the plane. We sat together. I think I was 1A, he was 1C. I can't remember. All of a sudden the lady began to beat people from the economy coming i know they go i know they go i know they go i know they go I, I, what's going on we are talking and all of a sudden they say there's a situation here they said the lady she can't come down she's boarded the plane she can't come down after a while if you come down they have to hold you till the plane lands that is the law the lady said, hey, hold me i know they go i know they go when she was coming she got close to where i was sitting she moved backward so his excellency said i said it now you cause this trouble waiting everywhere was in peace until you entered he said i'm, I'm, I'm working with time i'm working with time whatever you did undo it i said i entered here i sat you sat what did i do he said you people know how you do what you do <laughs> am i communicating A, a, a wealthy a, a brother not wealthy was wealthy he had issues the government was owing him in the oil sector so i was in lagos that time somebody brought him and said Let, if i came very sarcastic wearing a t-shirt and a g very sarcastic says this is the pastor say yes he just sat down i said what he said yeah yeah owing me i said give me your hand may they pay you in jesus name he said amen like i was telling you sir they are owing me setting a man i said i'm done he said i don't understand i said i'm done he will call the then minister of petroleum no call the one won't pick he will do everything send people to lobby they won't pick <coughs> he will call the pa they won't pick up as he walked out of the premise where he met me to enter the car it was the minister that called him by herself the minister was calling on one line the pa was calling on the next phone so he look at the two phones he dropped them he ran upstairs he said sir sir i was with somebody else i said what is the matter he said i don't know how you did what you did <laughs> but wait for me he went to bring seven of his friends he said i've seen it all this one is not go come the man they talk him. it did happen he brought this one. those ones line up they line up one said they are owing me as in the name of jesus they will pay you now, they were back and forth back and forth the guy said he didn't belong they called him to abuja he collected the money am i communicating here yes, if if the account department remember there was a service the guy came here okay we are over there for every pronouncement i made he was dropping ten thousand dollars to confirm it ten thousand to confirm it amen to ask of him amen when we close the account session men say sir ah, what is this it was dropping to say amen just to come and be saying amen amen i like i like blessing those kind of people you know this, this, this. just to confirm amen 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 <laughs> hallelujah but what i'm saying is the spirit resting upon you there are people listen to me you don't have to be a pastor to raise the dead you can be working in that your office as a banker working as a politician working as a student or a lecturer many of us think that manifestation only rests on pastor once you are a child of god the bible says in john 1 12 as many as received him to them gave it power to become the sons of god we are in the era of the manifestation of the sons of god romans chapter 12 and verse 6 the bible says that it, we differ in gift according to grace he has given us different of gifts having diff gifts different according to grace given to us when god checks your grace 
he apportions your gift he checks the area that you are graced he apportions a gift Isaiah 43 verse 21 my people that are formed for myself that they will show forth my praise you are called to show forth you cannot be the victim of sickness you can't know it's a crime what are you doing that your office what are you doing that your office what are you doing in that place what one million words cannot do one miracle we do but when that young man came back and he stood up and began to walk or his eyes were open rather the parents the jesus the, the, the pharisees asked the parents what happened to him he said he's of age ask him and they asked the boy he said once i was blind when you are passionate about power sacrifice is exciting when you are power passionate sacrifice is exciting you are happy to pay the price you are happy to wait on the lord you are happy i wish i was communicating here i wish i was communicating here most people can pay the price most people are not ready to do anything about what they carry there's a grace inside you already he has given unto every man the measure of faith every man every one of us there's a measure of faith it's anointing of god don't get old before you start manifesting if there is one character i don't like it's called elisha all because of one mistake your servant made you dash him leprosy oh yeah die with your anointing one error you dash him leprosy so that's why you died with the anointing when you do not know how to show mercy to people who make mistakes you will die with what you carry you didn't hear what i said now you are not a merciful person you are not a meek person look at jacob now <laughs> The reason why the father do you like word the reason the father of jacob called jacob and esau aside to bless him was because he knew that in the field jacob had collected the blessing of the firstborn so the father wanted to correct it behind jacob that, because normally if you want to bless your children not be the two you go call talk to me you are you call it jacob come is why only esau because he knew that the young man saw porridge porridge ukodo the bible says red porridge but that porridge was more red that day reverend the porridge was red that day very red <laughs> and i'm sure with us today they had some obstacles you know those things the obstacles i don't like playing food i like food that has many bus stops many bus stops inside you know you have shoko yokoto you have fish you have snake you have i like those kind of soup there are some soup that have just express express very useless kind of soup express <laughs> i don't like express soup very express you just see only one one obstacle stand like mtm mast i don't like those kind of soup i like those obstacles you push here obstacle you push here something you push here something you push here that that kind of soup is very redeemed As you are eating, you have hope. <laughs> you know what they are saying? They are saying I'm just talking, I don't eat. <laughs> I don't like to see it. Let me be looking at it. There are times my 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 PA in America, he brings food. He, uh, he said, oh, Papa, you leave it. I said, ah, leave it. Don't clear it. Let me be seeing it. I'm just happy. <laughs> I'm not eating, but let me just be looking. Just see all the fish, all the snail, all the plantain. I say, wow, 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 wow. Sometimes you start getting vitamin from looking. <laughs> vitamin from looking. <laughs> say something yeah ah! we have a problem today as believers you have too much on you 
look at Jacob. The father said, Esau, come. Let me correct what your brother did. You know what Jacob did? Jacob collected the birthright. He came, even the compensation. He collected it. The brother said, I, if you see me pass this road, pass another road. If I don't kill you, pray our father doesn't. The only thing connecting me to you is our father. And I love Esau. No matter his anger, he still had respect for the father's presence. Save not our father. She pray, oh, the day he die, run. But there's a park I'm picking. When Jacob came, even as a supplanter, with all the strategy he did, Isaac said, This is the voice of who? Esau. And the hand? Jacob. There are many of us, our voice does not agree with our hand. I love this man. I love this man. I will die. That's your voice. Let's see your hand. Papa, you are my father. You are my father. You are my father. If I am my father, father. Voice. Let's see your hand. One of our pastors, I said, I have heard your voice many times. You are always talking about me. You are my son. You are my son. I said, but I don't know your hand. I don't know the color of your hand. There are pastors, even with all their character, I still love them because of their hand. There's nobody that's not reported Pastor Henry to me. Nobody has not reported him to me. But in the headquarters is the only one every year that will bring empty account and give me for five years among all the pastors in the headquarters is the only one and you report it to me a good seed turn it away rot <laughs> you that have good character where is your hand sometimes i will avoid him i'm dodging him i'm avoiding him i'm just Last this early this year was it January 1st? He brought one million naira to me. He said, This is all I have, sir. Speak over my life. You that is righteous son and good son, where is your seed? I know it's embarrassed, it's not happy. I'm saying this now. When people love people, they have why they love them. Are you following me? If thou shouldest mark iniquity, who can stand? And there are many pastors, even their church first fruits that they brought, they stole from it. And yet you have issues tomorrow, you want me to pray for you? I will pray, oh, but it's God that answers prayer. Do I need your money? Do I need your money? That's the truth. That's the truth. I say it with all sincerity. God has been good to me. Today makes it 15 years of my wedding. Fifteen years, two thousand and four, June fifth, we got married. Fifteen years later, there's nothing he hasn't done for me. Nothing. When I was going to go and marry my wife, I left with money. When I got there, he finished me, collected everything. And me, I said no problem. Just imagine me now. I'm collecting five, five bride prize. I'm only paying one. They collected from me. I will collect five. <laughs> what is that? God saw my pain. So God said, You, this bride price you are paying, you will eat bride prices. <laughs> That's how we sit down that day. I will eat it. Bring it. Let me eat. <laughs> we are in that generation. Yeah, people should be you should be knocking at doors is there any sick person here is there any sick person here i was one of the first preachers by the grace of god in nigeria who will put on hambi bring the blind the deaf the dumb when i preach now which one pastor called me here 
Reverend Momo is late now. He said, Umeme? Uyoka who? Remove this blind. Tell them, bring the sick. He's sick, we put. We don't put blind. If, they, if you see blind, well, I'm not. I put blind, put lame, put everything. One of the girls who was a cripple, we saw her coming out on the Sunday here. She met me outside there one day. I was, she said, Sir, you don't know me? I said, No. She said, I was the one in public feed that was crippled. Stood up. And the era today, I, I, I look around, no power in the church. That's why people can open their mouth and say things. Someone will speak against me, will do videos against me, will do everything. I was not aware. I'm not aware. Those things I don't know. We'll do everything, everything, everything. One day the husband woke up and said, I saw this man in my dream. Stop doing videos against him. She said, no, no. Husband left her. Marriage break. Since you won't leave him alone, me, I'm going. Yes, sir. God stepped in on my behalf. I was not aware. One day I asked the Holy Spirit, I said, Lord, all these people who are doing, all these people, why have you not killed them? God said, no. There are some of them I need to make you popular. These things they are doing now, my son, it doesn't matter what they are saying, it's for your good. There are a lot of them. I need you to understand that the first dimension of the spirit is when it rests on you for manifestation. How can you be giving a report? A, you, a, an anointed vessel, daughter of God. You are carrying a fibro medical report, carrying a tumor medical report, carrying a cancer report, carrying an HIV report, an hepatitis B report. In this meeting, it dies from your body. I said that disease dies from your body. It dies from your body. It dies from your body. It dies from your body. If your amen is louder, you are the one I'm talking to. You know what empowers all this? You see, let me say so. Let me say this to you. Can I go on? Am I boring you? Walking with God eh, needs a lot of sensitivity. Do not judge. Sit down. Do not judge your walk, your walk with God by his response to the work of another person with him. Look here. Abel gave a more excellent sacrifice than Cain. Is it true? Is it true? Abel loved God. God never spoke to him. When he died, God spoke to Cain. Why did you kill your brother? If Abel had that voice of God, he would have been more encouraged. The one that was stingy heard God. The one that was a giver didn't hear God. You didn't hear what I said. So how do you explain? Abraham said, pick Sarah. I said, ah, this one is my sister. At nine, God appeared to the king. He said, he's a prophet. Let him pray for you. The first time prayer was mentioned he says a prophet let me pray for the first time healing was mentioned and you'll be healed a man that lied how do you explain jacob took something david took somebody's wife got her pregnant and god says a man after my heart first samuel 13 14 acts 13 22 he says a man after my heart in other words you know i i, I like another version he said a man who thinks like me Another verse will say, a man that I like. A verse will say, a man whose heart is always panting after me. Despite, how do you call somebody who got somebody's wife pregnant? To you, he has committed an offense. But to God, he said, this one is my son. God does not see our flaws. He does not consider our flaws. He does not ponder. On, this is not an encouragement for flaws. But God's focus is not on our flaws. Or our faults. He focuses on our strength. Because God is not negativity inclined. Am I communicating here? Number two. Isaiah chapter 11. Verse 2 again. 
the first the spirit of god rest upon him and the spirit of wisdom someone say wisdom and understanding spirit of spirit of wisdom and understanding ladies and gentlemen wisdom is a spirit stupidity is a spirit what nothing gets me angry like seeing stupid and mad people everywhere some people exhibit so much stupidity stupidity look at solomon solomon first kings 4 34 the bible said the all it came to hear solomon came to hear his wisdom all the people of the earth came to hear his wisdom first kings chapter 5 and verse 12 and god gave solomon wisdom wisdom is locating god's idea of doing things carrying the mind of god the the, the the mentality of god kingdom sensibility to do things first kings chapter 10 verse 7 when when the king the, the queen of sheba came and saw the wisdom of god in first kings 10 verse 7 he said i heard and i came thy wisdom and thy prosperity exceeded what i heard thy wisdom and thy prosperity exceeded what i heard wisdom pro so anytime there is wisdom there is what when there is wisdom when there is foolishness poverty we have too many foolish people everywhere maritally foolish ministerially foolish one guy came to my office said, papa i want to start ministry but i don't have anything support me i said get out get out do you need money to start ministry who supported us if god can provide for you wait till he provides why are you in a hurry say just help us pay for you i said god really called you i won't pay for you no these basic proofs are what you need to know he called you if you can't wait for him it's because it's not time if the money for the hall has not come it's not time to go out that's wisdom how can a pastor borrow money for keyboard and they are playing music with it and you are not crying and you're shaking oh my god you are not weeping knowing that that's it that that's keyboard is dead you are paying you are going to pay debt pastor henry was my accountant where is henry semeka it was my it was my accountant at the what do you call intercontinental bank you know he was managing our account even the church account one day we built was it there over that church we're building there and he came with his manager and some group of some group of people and they said they want to see me I said, ah, everyone, everyone is happy to see a banker especially when you are not owing they came in they sat under there you have been a good banker thank you you have done it thank you you have done it thank you eh? thank you we saw you are building we want to support your building ah bank want to dash me money ah i said thank you jesus so I'm going to give you as much as 10 million, 20 million, and all that. Ah, that was a lot of money then. Ah, 10 million. Ah, Jesus. Is it about you? We are going to do a strategy where you start paying back. <laughs> Pay back. Outside. <laughs> Sir, I see. Pastor Harry, follow them. he's always laughing he's always laughing he started laughing i said follow them is he borrowed say yes ah! me if god cannot bring it i don't need it there's nothing we have as a ministry that we are yet to pay for nothing that we are yet to pay for my wife and i that today anything we have personally ministry that we are we are no if there's no money stop the work money continue the work ah, hey, papa let's tell the church you are spending your money if it, are they blind if they can't see the project 
and be a part of it leave them let me collect all the blessing one day i was somewhere was it dubai i don't know some arab, arab some asian place and i saw a revelation i saw members of the church i saw them cripple god showed me members of the church cripple they couldn't walk and i saw myself walking around them inspecting them and god said spiritually these are your people are i said yeah he said because you are not teaching them how to stand and do things for themselves you are the ones doing for everybody sharing money around he said they will remain like that until they stand and do things for themselves so i came back to church that period i said every month drop seed this do this this do that and i began to see lifting 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 prosperity wealth you think i'm pampering people petting them sir they may die poor wisdom proverbs 8 verse 12 he said i wisdom i dwell with prudence and i found out knowledge of witty invention every wise man is an inventor have you seen companies today have you seen companies soap companies cream companies you seen them when they want to advertise a soap they bring a lady that has a flawless skin she begins to rub it use this soap it's not that soap that made that skin like that oh. he said use this soap it will change your skin you say ah with all your giant pimples on your face ah you go and buy with all the giant massive pimples doing sensors on your face you carry you rub 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 and say ah these people ole thief is commercialization I was in New York one time and I sat down watching TV they showed a mouse you know mouse a mouse was drinking an energy drink <laughs> was drinking an energy drink all of a sudden the mouse just shook Woo! became a lion I laughed I said your dreams <laughs> I said you are, you are hallucinating in your dream so if I drink this thing I become lion my come, 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 come on there <laughs> I used to watch adverts a lot in America because I wanted to get their mindset but I don't do that now because it's got many of those things if you follow them <laughs> if you follow them they make life appear so easy they make having accidents exciting that you'll be looking forward to accident so do you have an accident you can make money there's a lawyer waiting you will not pay anything when the money comes we split 60 40 you won't pay anything so people are looking forward a young man told me he said one day a car was behind him he was just praying jam me jam me jam me i said ah you are praying for car he said yes so jam me jam me i said we say sir brand new car if i was all one leg yeah bone broken bone yeah he said they put me on the bed sir that bandage leg money we start negotiating <laughs> I saw a lady in the Tulsa. I was walking out of Tulsa Club. I ran to me and said, Papa, my accident issue, they are not paying me. That's what happened. He said, In the office, I slept. I fell. I said, Hey, they stand up now. He said, No, they are supposed to pay me. Nigeria, you sleep. You fell. <laughs> you stand up now. He said, No, the office should pay me for falling. Ah! For falling. Say, Yes. I said, How much are they paying? I want to fall, I want to fall now. I want to fall here now <laughs> if they will pay me let me fall <laughs> am i communicating here <laughs> you know wisdom how do i get wisdom how do i assess this wisdom james chapter 1 verse 5 if any man lack wisdom let him ask of god that give it liberally and upbraided not say shall be given to him ask god solomon asked god solomon placed the man on the big of heaven give me wisdom in fact he said you know what solomon said <laughs> he had this revenue solomon told god said these people that you have given me to lead 
they are all confused people confused people they are full of trouble give me an understanding heart before God came Solomon had prepared the prayer point yes, sir. he knew God come yes, how do I know in first Kings chapter 3 verse 10 the Bible says, and Solomon's speech please the Lord before you give speech you prepare it and the speech please the Lord that Solomon had asked this thing speech speech that's why they are setting prayer prayer points before you start decreeing them arrange them back them with scripture begin to rehearse them before God rehearse them Solomon applied a demand he said what that is why he was he was wealthy because the wisest are the wealthiest poverty resides in foolishness scarcity resides in insanity am I communicating am I communicating am I communicating you need the wisdom of God ask of him tell somebody ask I can't hear you tell somebody ask ask the kind of wisdom that makes you ahead of your peers the kind of wisdom that sets you there's a wisdom to do ministry there's a wisdom to do business hello when I knew this started going to South Africa there's a boy that would there's a boy who he was sent in South Africa for about seven years before I came he had no job and then when I tell them please who dry clean my clothes I think also we see the same thing in America who dry clean my clothes say and uh, you pick it in, in two days ah wash it uh, yes sir in two days most time he does he does that he dry cleans my clothes I said two days this boy came he said Papa bring it he went he dry cleaned the clothes he brought it I said when did they start being on the spot dry cleaners in South Africa I said no I did it I said you did this he said yes you did this he said yes I said this is a job now this is a job I said go and find out ask for how much for iron ask for how much for this ask for how much for that ask for yes and I carried the money I gave him I said start when I started coming to South Africa he was the one giving me offering why business has started business has started there is money around you but the problem is that you are too blind to notice how can you know how to fix people's hair and you are doing it for free you can fix it yeah, yeah, yeah my friend let me do help you help what that, that one is a friend that one if you need that will she be there yeah. now come to my house I take 2,000 from people but because we are friend give me one eight <laughs> David was doing everything for free he killed beer nobody paid him he killed lion nobody paid him when he got to Goliath he said hey hey what shall be done for the man that kills this Goliath I'll be doing everything for free Goliath you will pay me he went back again and asked the, the soul servant what do you say shall be done to the man that kills Goliath three he shall get a wife he said that's good two his father's house shall be free from tax hmm hmm my father has eight of us he pays a lot of tax that's good they gave him three benefits and i said okay now i can fight when i kill lion they only clap for me i keep beer they only clap for i'm enough i'm tired of doing things for free i was invited to talk to bank some years ago to talk to bankers eh? yes to talk to bankers and they say apostle you have to talk to us on how to escape economic recession you are not using your bible use your academic training i said no problem how much they say i talked to a man of god i said are you right man of god is bible this academic training i paid school fees how much i also talked to an oil company they said they invited they want to invite me for a day just to talk to them on fidelity in the oil sector i said say please no quotation of scriptures we just want to tap for your academic knowledge i said good 10 million ah! apostle we didn't say buy the oil company we said come and talk to us <laughs> i said 
that is my bill are you paying or not paying you, i said this same you people will, see, will carry one small boy who calls himself a musician and give him 30 million for 45 minutes then me i am coming personally you are i said pay or forget it how long will you stay i said one hour ah you are expensive oh. i said of course when you come to work of god it's free you come to academic knowledge i paid school fees you and that banking teaching 